Hello everyone, welcome to another lecture. In this lecture, we're gonna discuss bitwise operators. Bitwise operators are used to perform bitwise operations on individual bits of integral based operands. These operators work at the binary level, manipulating the binary representation of the operands. Before we start explaining bitwise manipulation, we'd like to give you some explanation about binary operations. Binary numbers are a base two numeric system representing numeric values using only two symbols, 0 and 1. This is in contrast to the decimal or base 10 numeric system that we commonly use, which utilizes 10 symbols from 0 to 9. In the binary system, each digit represents a power of 2 starting from the rightmost digit. For example, decimal 27 in binary would be 111011. Binary numbers seem to be very long numbers, but they are much easier for a computer to handle, since each bit or binary digit can be represented by an electrical signal which is either on or off. Here are the bitwise operators in C-sharp. The AND operator performs a logical AND operation between the corresponding bits of two operands. It returns a value where each bit is set to 1 only if both corresponding bits in the operands are 1. Otherwise, the bit is set to 0. In this example, the binary representation of the result is 1, 0, 0, 0, because the first bits are the only bits where both x and y have a 1. All other bits have at least one zero, so they are set to zero. Therefore, the decimal value of the result is one. The OR operator performs a logical OR operation between the corresponding bits of two operands. It returns a value where each bit is set to 1 if at least one of the corresponding bits in the operands is 1. Otherwise, the bit is set to 0. In this example, the binary representation of the result is 1, 1, 1, 0 because the first, second, and third bits have at least one one among x and y. Only the last bit in x and y is zero, so it remains zero. Therefore, the decimal value of the result is seven. The XOR operator performs a logical XOR operation between the corresponding bits of two operands. It returns a value where each bit is set to 1 only if the corresponding bits in the operands are different. Otherwise, the bit is set to 0. In this example, the binary representation of the result is 0, 1, 1, 0. Because the second and third bits have different values between x and y. The first and last bits are the same in both numbers. So, they are set to 0. Therefore, the decimal value of the result is 6. The NOT operator performs a unary operation that inverts the bits of its operand. It returns the ones complement of the operand. In this example, the binary representation of the result is 0, 1, 0, 1, because each bit of x is flipped. The original zeros become ones and ones become zeros. In two's complement representation, the leftmost bit is a sign bit. If it's zero, the number is positive, and if it's one, the number is negative. In zero, one, zero, one, the leftmost bit is one, indicating that the number is negative. Therefore, the decimal value of the result is minus six. The left shift operator shifts the bits of the left hand operand to the left by a specified number of positions as determined by the right hand operand. In this example, shifting x to the left by three positions results in appending three zeros on the right. 
the original bits of x are shifted three positions to the left, and the vacant positions on the right are filled with zeros. Therefore, the decimal value of the result is 40. You should know that the left shift operator effectively multiplies the left hand operand by 2 raised to the power of the right hand operand. The right shift operator shifts the bits of the left hand operand to the right by a specified number of positions as determined by the right hand operand. In this example, shifting x to the right by three positions discards the serially significant bits on the right. The original bits of x are shifted three positions to the right, and the vacant positions on the left are filled with a sign bit. Since x is a positive number and the sign bit is zero, the vacant positions on the left are filled with zeros. Therefore, the binary representation of the result is 1, 0, 1, 0, which is equal to decimal 5. You should know that the right shift operator effectively divides the left hand operand by 2 raised to the power of the right hand operand. Okay, done. See you soon with another lecture.